A state agency investigated the Orange Grove Center almost 200 times in the last five years. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Snead. News Channel 9 requested documents regarding those investigations. James Torres joins us now to tell us what they show and what happens when the state proves abuse took place. James. Kim County, Orange Grove serves more than 1,000 children and adults with different abilities. About 500 live under their care. When a worker found 60 year old Carrie Parkey dead in an Orange Grove van two weeks ago, the Tennessee Department of Intellectual Development and Disabilities started an investigation. So we filed an open records request with that state agency and discovered how many times investigators have had to look into Orange Grove before. These documents from the state show investigators launch 183 investigations into the Orange Grove Center since January of 2012. Our investigations are, are administrative and they're not criminal. Of those, evidence supports 66 claims of abuse, neglect, and exploitation. Any incident that we hear of, we take those um, allegations very seriously. In July 2013, investigators say an employee failed to use a car lift. Instead, they pushed a person in a wheelchair out the back of a van. This report from February 2017 shows where an employee struck a person in the face. Just two weeks ago, this report here says a staff member forgot to put a seatbelt around a man in a wheelchair. He ended up falling out of the van and breaking his leg. We asked the state what happens when claims are proven true. There are reviews, there are um, hearings, um, and the person who was substantiated uh, may be referred to our abuse registry, and so that would affect their ability to, to get a job you know, dealing with um, people with intellectual disabilities. 183 allegations may seem like a large number, but the state says Orange Grove is doing better than similar agencies in Tennessee. But the center says when their employees break the rules, there are consequences. Every individual who is substantiated uh, for abuse and exploitation is discharged from employment at Orange Grove. The Protection from Harm unit says they try to close their investigations within 30 days. They expect Parkey's case to last longer as they wait for an autopsy report. Calvin. Thanks, James. The Department of Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities says they did not include a handful of investigations in our request. We're told that's because they are still open and active, and that includes Carrie Parkey's case. To see a full list of the investigations included in our request, go to newschannel9.com.